Okay, I found this interesting. NASA JPL Jet Propulsion Lab, which is a, a company of NASA, they have conflicting information out on a close approach of an asteroid that's coming at the, near the beginning of March. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you. If you go to meo.jpl.nasa.gov slash ca slash um, or just Google NEO JPL, you'll get this list of close approaches. And here's upcoming close approaches to the Earth, the asteroids listed by their given name, and the date of approach, close approach, um, the s solar distance and the lunar distance to the Earth, estimated diameter of the object, the magnitude, and the velocity. Okay, so we're looking at this one. Let me see if I can find it. 2013, right here, TX68. It says close approaches March 8th. Sorry. And the lunar distance is 13, meaning it's going to be 13 times the distance of the moon to the earth so further away than the moon okay 23 to 52 meters all right so it says March 8th if we click on it it takes us to the next page T 2013 TX 68 and it gives you a little more information about this object okay and let's see gives you all these different element and uh, values. It also gives you the parameters. It says condition code 8. So their condition codes are from uh, 0 to 9. 0 meaning it, it's pretty much safe. There's nothing to worry about. Condition code 9 means that they're, it's very irregular, highly uncertain, and so forth. Anyways, they have condition code 9, or 8, and if you click on that, let me see if I can bring this over, it'll tell you, um, estimate 0 to 9 with 0 being good and 9 being highly uncertain, okay? Anyways, you saw that it said March 8th, correct? Okay, if we go to another one of their news articles... Let me move the screen over. Pause. Here we are on their website. Um, NASA Jet Propulsion Lab, okay, California Institute. And then they give you a diagram showing here's the asteroid belt here, or different um, asteroids. And it's 9 million miles wide. Okay, and then they show you a little um, mock-up of what 11,000 miles to the Earth looks like. All right. And they say on here, if we scroll down, graphic, graphic indicates the cloud of possible locations asteroid 2013 TX-68 will be in at the time of its closest approach to Earth during its safe flyby of our planet on let me show you this, mark of its closest approach to Earth during its safe flyby of our planet on March 5th. Now on the chart that we just saw from their near-Earth objects, it said March 8th. So they have conflicting information here. And it goes on to say a small asteroid that two years ago flew past Earth at a comfortable distance of about 1.3 million miles will safely fly by our planet again in a few weeks, though this time it may be much closer. So they're uncertain of its um, distance. During the upcoming March, March 5th flyby, asteroid 2013 TX-68 could fly past Earth as far as out as 9 million miles or as close as 11,000 miles. So 11,000 miles is way shorter than the distance from the Earth to the Moon within our lunar distance here. And March 5th 
flyby is not the same as March 8th, 2013, TX68, 2016, March 8th. All right. I want to pause for a sec. Okay, we know the distance from the Earth to the Moon changes. There's a variance depending on where the Moon is, what season, what time of day, and so forth. <clears throat> However, it says the short answer is the average distance to the Moon is 384,000 kilometers or 238,000 miles. Okay, we round that to 239,000 miles. So 239,000 miles, but this is going to be, it could be as far as 9 million miles away or as close as 11,000 miles away. The variation is possible close, in possible closest approach distances is due to the wide range of possible trajectories for this object since it was tracked for only a short time after discovery. Scientists at NASA's Center for NEO Studies at the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California, have determined there is no possibility that this object could impact Earth during the flyby next month. But they have identified an extremely remote chance that this small asteroid could impact on September 28, 2017, with odds of no more than 1 in 250 million. Flybys in 2046 and 2097 have an even lower probability of impact. So they're stating that there's no chance, really, that this thing is going to hit us March 5th to March 8th. The possibilities, although it's highly uncertain, it's a code 8. The possibilities of collision of any of the three future flyby dates are far too small to be of any real concern. So it goes on, it says, Asteroid 2013 TX-68 is estimated to be about um, 100 feet wide. By comparison, the asteroid that broke up in the atmosphere over Chelyabinsk, Russia, three years ago was approximately 60 feet wide. If an asteroid the size of 2013 TX-68 were to enter Earth's atmosphere, it would likely produce an airburst with about twice the energy of the Chelyabinsk event. And that's interesting because when the Lord, I'm not saying that this is the one, but when the Lord gave me the dream about the two meteors to come, and the first one would be near, not right at California, but near California. And the second one would be further away and cause more harm. The first one that was to come was going to be twice the power of the Russian one. Instead of 10 megatons, it was going to be 20 megatons. And that's what the Lord told me. And so I found this interesting that it says that the the energy, the air burst would... Um, is with about twice the energy of the Russian one. And it's a little bit bigger. It's 100 feet instead of 65 feet. But still not um, extinction level. It's just a large meteor that could cause, you know, some destruction. So I'm interested to see if this thing does get within 11,000. Because if it gets within 11,000 miles, it's within our atmosphere um you know gravity is going to bring that thing down <laughs> okay um the asteroid was discovered by nasa october 6 2013 so just um a little over two years ago as it approached earth on the nighttime side after three days of tracking the asteroid passed into the daytime sky and could no longer be observed that's another thing they cannot see all the objects that are coming at us all the time because when they're observing if it's daytime and the objects out there and depending on where it, where its location is sometimes they cannot see them because it was not tracked for very long scientists cannot predict its precise orbit around the Sun but they do know that it cannot impact Earth during its next flyby next month but I don't know how they can say that with certainty and again they say you know they say uh, March 5th here but then they're near Earth object lists as March 8th. So they're not even sure of the actual flyby date. Um, this asteroid's orbit is quite uncertain and it will be hard to predict where to look for it. There's a chance that the asteroid will be picked up by our asteroid search telescopes when it safely flies past us next month, because this was written in February, providing us with data to more precisely define its orbit around the sun. 
So for regular updates on passing asteroids, NASA has a list of the next five close approaches to Earth. Um, it links to the CNEO's website, the complete list of recent and upcoming close approaches. So let's see if I click on this list, if it takes us to the same next five close approaches within 4.6 million miles. And so, well, let me see, I've never been here before. Average distance between Earth and the Moon is 239,000 miles. Okay, still don't see the list. <laughs> it's just a little newsletter, but again, you can go to Near Earth Objects, JPL, and you can get this, but it says 2013 TX68 would be March 8th. So anytime between March 5th and March 8th, we can expect this thing to fly by and see if it does come into the atmosphere. We know that in the news, just within the last couple weeks, there's been a couple, one meteor um, came into the atmosphere and landed in the Atlantic Ocean, a smaller one. Um, and then there were a couple others that were... Okay, so this these are some news articles from February 23rd um, and 24th, the last couple days, talking about large-ish meteor hits Earth, but no one notices it hit South Atlantic Ocean. And um, it was the biggest one since the Chelyabinsk um, in February 2013. And uh, this one said, yeah, it's still a massive meteor crash into Earth, but it was not seen. This was South Atlantic Ocean. So um, sometimes these things come in and nobody, like they say, they can't see them if it's on the day. If it's in the daytime sky, also if it's uh, one that they didn't detect or they weren't watching. So we'll just pray. It'll be interesting to see if um, this one, sorry, I can't get to the right, oh, if this one actually comes in, you know, close to us March 5th to 8th. It is a condition code 8, so it's worth watching and um, being prepared for. God bless.